In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and enable the HDMI-P encoder for use with an XVR or NVR. In this example, we're using an NVR, and I'm already logged into the web interface of that NVR. In this other tab here on Google, I'm going to type in the IP address of my HDMI-P encoder. It is the default IP address of 192.168.1.168. You'll want to make sure you're on a compatible network to access the HDMI-P encoder. I'm going to log in with the default username and password, that is admin and admin. And I'm going to hit enter to log in or click the sign in button. Inside of here, uh, the settings that we can leave as default, we can leave the mainstream settings as default as long as this RTSP URL is enabled. And then in order to get the substream on our NVR or XVR, we need to go to the substream one tab and then enable the RTSP URL. As you can see by default, it is disabled. So we need to click that click enable and then at the top we can set up the uh, resolution and bitrate settings however you want to leave them as default that way uh, you don't make any mistakes or consult with our team uh, via email to get some proper encoding settings for your substream I'm going to click apply again all I did was enable the RTSP URL option and then it says at the top set successfully please restart your device so I'm going to click the OK button and then I need to go down to the system option at the left hand side Inside of the system option, there's going to be a reboot tab. It's going to allow me to reboot my encoder without unplugging it and replugging it in. So I'm going to go to that tab and click the reboot button. Should say sex successfully. It doesn't take long for the encoder to reboot, maybe 15 to 30 seconds. And I'll continue once it's done rebooting. Okay, it's been about 30 seconds and the lights on my HDMI encoder are on. I'm just going to hit the F5 button or refresh button on my Google Chrome browser and the web interface pulled back up. That means the encoder is back online. I can click on the status tab just to make sure one final time that the encoder is back up and running. Now, since the encoder is back up and running, we've enabled the mainstream and we've enabled the substream. We can finally add the encoder to our NVR. So again, I'm already logged into the NVR in the second tab in Google Chrome here. And to add the encoder, I need to go to the setting tab, click the camera option, and then it's going to search my network for any cameras or encoders that are on the network. We can see our encoder here at the 192.168.1.168 address. I can either double click this or click the checkbox option and click the add button. It's going to successfully add the device. I can click the refresh button to bring it down here at the bottom. And I already have a green status. If you don't receive a green status right away, you'll want to click the edit icon here and then re-enter the username and password. Make sure your RTSP port is 554. Make sure the HTTP port is 80. And then you're going to want to click OK. You can also manually add this by typing in the IP address. Again, that is 192.168.1.168 the username admin and the password admin. Uh, of course, you're gonna to wanna to change the manufacturer or protocol to Onviv. Make sure that it is 80, the port 80 here and you can leave the RTSP mode to adaptive. And I'll just go ahead and add it again as an example here. So I, all I did was change the manufacturer to Onviv, typed in the IP address, made sure the port was 80, typed in the admin user with the admin password and then I can click OK. It's going to create a second entry here and then with a refresh, we'll see it turn to a green status. I really only need to add the encoder once to my NVR, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this duplicate entry. All right, now that we've successfully added the HDMI-P encoder to the NVR, we can check the live view by going to the desktop icon at the top right-hand side of the web interface, clicking the live view or view live video option from the main menu. It's going to take us to the live view tab here. And as you can see, we did add it as D1 or channel one. And then to view the stream, we can click on it, which is gonna pull up the mainstream. And then to view the substream, I can click this little carrot icon and then click substream one. As you can see, it pulls up the substream and the mainstream on the NVR here. Again, I can click it to pull up the mainstream or click the carrot icon and select the substream. So just to review real quickly, I went to the web interface of the encoder. I went to encoder, made sure that my mainstream was enabled on the RTSP and it had a good settings for the encoding settings. Went to the substream one, it made sure that RTSP was enabled. And then I reboot my encoder by going to system and then reboot. And then I went to the NVR, camera settings, added it as an Onviv device with its IP address and username and password, and then made sure that I can view the stream on the substream and then also on the mainstream. 
Hopefully this video helps you use the HDMI P encoder with an NVR or XVR. As you can see here, I'm using the output from my NVR on my NVR, and you can use any HDMI P uh, device into the encoder and record and view it from an NVR. Thank you for watching.